Hello everyone, this is Dipali and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be talking about exporting the employee related details. If you happen to be new to my channel, please consider subscribing down below. Now let's get started. The employee import which we have which is called as the import employee data gives us the option to download the templates or to import the data. We do not have the option here to export the employee data or export the data which are specific to any particular portlets that we see on the employee hire screen. We do have an option of employee export which exports all the related data of any particular employee in the system. But if we want to segregate it per portlet or per section, this can be done from reporting. To access reporting, we should have proper access in the manage permission rules. If you need to know how we can access these from the RBPs, please do mention that in the comment section. I can create a separate video for that. In this video, let's see how we can export the different sections in the employee profile. So I'll go to reporting and I'll click on new to create a new report. Since this is a report table, not an advanced report. For the advanced reporting, we should be selecting report canvas. So if you select the report table, it gets highlighted. You can see that there is a dark blue boundary that appears when you highlight any particular section and then click on select. Now, in order to export the employee related details, there is a separate domain which is made or specifically contributed for only exporting the employee related data, which is called as person and employment export. Here we see four navigations, general info, columns, configuration and filters. In this report, I would like to export the email information in the system of all the employees. So here I'll give the name of the report as email data. I will leave the priority as is, which is set as medium by default. And then I'll go to columns. Click on select columns and here we have all these different portlets that we see in the employee profile and these data we can manage section by section. So if we want the phone info, I click on phone info and these are the four fields that are maintained in the employee profile which are related to the phone information. If I click on email information and these are the four fields for the email information. For now, I'll select all and click on finish. So if I click on preview, I can see that these are all the details with the person ID, that these are all the employee IDs and their email addresses which are maintained in the instance, their email type, whether it is a business email or a personal email and is primary if that is primary or not so you can close this save if you want to provide any filters you can refine criteria click on filters the email information say for example you want to export the email type with only business and you do not want the personal information or the personal email IDs exported or the other way around. Say for example, you want to export only the personal email IDs which are maintained in the system. Click on save, preview and here you can see you get all the personal email IDs and the personal email IDs which are maintained are not the primary email ID for some but it is primary for other. T stands for true and F for is primary is false so i will be exporting all the personal email ids in this case i click on generate 
after clicking on generate i will have four options to export these details which are csv excel pdf and ppt i will click on csv and my report is exported when i click on that report i can see the file being created if you see here i have four columns personal id email email type and is primary now i can modify this exported data and arrange the columns of the exported file to import the data say for example if i have to import the employee details i'll click on import employee data and then click on download template select an entity email information and say i would want to export or download the template which has all these four fields email type personal id email address and is primary when i click on generate there is a blank template with only the headers that gets downloaded so if you see this file this file has these four fields type personal id email address and is primary which is exactly these four fields type personal id email address and is primary but then their sequence of column is different so you can fill these columns as per the sequence which is maintained here the other thing that can be done is you can also export the data in the same sequence of columns which are present in my template so click on columns if we have four columns here and then i have the option of rearranging the columns so in my template i see that my type is the first column type id address and primary i'll go to my template type id address and primary so once these columns are arranged click on ok save and then generate again so when you click on generate again you will see that the columns are arranged type id address and primary and you can use this export file as the import file you can modify these details if you want to or change the email address of any one or more of the employee ids make them primary or not for a bulk upload and use a similar file because your columns are already arranged in this case we had only four columns but there could be a scenario where you would have to deal with multiple columns so this is what i wanted to share with you today that how we can export the personal details in this case for example the email id of all the employees in the system how you can modify it as a bulk upload thank you so much for watching the video i hope it was helpful for you you can also check my other videos and also click on the bell icon so that you get notified on my other videos see you soon in the next video thanks for watching bye for now